Hello? Can you guys hear me? Hello, everybody. Hello, Man. great. So, well, good evening. How are you guys? How's everybody doing today? How are you? How are you today? Hello, I'm fine, I'm fine. Great, that's good to hear, Louis. How about the others? How are you guys doing? Are you? Okay, uh, yeah, people are, are, still, uh, are still connecting. Yes, let me just make myself uh, comfortable here. All right, so uh, we'll welcome one more time. Let's continue uh, talking, about, uh, talking about present, okay? So again, welcome and let's begin. So uh, in today's uh, lesson, we are going to describe our home, all right? So in today's lesson, we are going to describe our home. Uh, what is your home like? What is your house like? Is your house big? Is your house small? And uh, do you live in a house or in an apartment? That's my question, all right? First, how is, uh, do you, first question will be, do you live, live in a house or an apartment? Okay, do you live in a house or, or in an apartment? Next question. Uh, next question, uh, how is your house like? How is your house like? Is your house big or small? Hey, please, anybody share. Like, for example, I, I live in a house, and, uh, but my house is small. It's a small house, and uh, but it's a beautiful house. It's small, but it's a beautiful house. What about you? Now, uh, do you guys live in a house or do you live in an apartment? Uh, let's ask uh, Mauricio. How about you, Mauricio? Do you live in a house or in an apartment? I live um, in the house. In a house. In the okay. House. And how is your house like? Is it a small house or is it a big house? It's a medium house. A medium size. Medium, medium size. You can say regular, you know, regular or regular or medium size. Yeah, medium sized medium sized you know it all is in the chat regular or medium sized okay pretty good hey anybody else uh how about uh veronica do you live in a house or in an apartment Pardon, teacher? yes do you live in a house or in an apartment mm. do you live in a house uh, or in an apartment? Uh, yes, um, it, it is it, um, a small. A small house. It, mm -hmm. ah, okay, all right, good, good. Um, the, let's ask uh, uh, Esther, what about you, Esther? Do you live in a house or in an apartment? In an apartment, it's... Um, and not, not, no, 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 I, sorry, yeah. I was asking Esther. Okay. It's okay, Veronica, you answered already. Ya respondió. Okay. okay, so I'm asking Esther. Esther, are you there? 
blow? Oh, probably, probably not. Hey, what about you? Uh, what about you, uh, Gabby? Do you live in a house or in an apartment? Or wait, 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 your microphone. I'm sorry, I forget. It's okay. Unmuted. Uh, I live in a, in a house. Okay, and is it a big or a small house? I think that is small. Okay, you think it's, it's small. A, it's up to you because <laughs> I think that is small. Oh, uh, it's small I... to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, yeah, probably Gabby lives in a in a in a mansion and she thinks <laughs> it's small. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, good. Uh, well, you guys, uh, today we will uh today we will learn about places in the house, rooms in our house. So let's take a look at this let me share my screen and let's look at uh rooms in your house great uh so look at this so in your house in your house you may have this okay look here this is a look this is a big house it's a big house so you may have the first floor, first floor. You know, there are some two floor houses, like one floor, you know, the first floor first, and the second floor, okay? Like primera planta y segunda planta, first floor and second floor. Got it, right? So, uh, yes, so look here, I'm gonna use my pointer here. Yeah, so uh, here is uh, the first floor. It's a big house, it has a first floor and a second floor, second floor, okay? And look, in the first floor, we have first, uh, we have a living room, a living room, look, living room, hey, here people have a sofa and a rug and probably a TV, you know, people, some people watch TV in there, the living room, okay, and look, here's the dining room, okay, where you have dinner or have breakfast and look uh, here we have the kitchen here we have the kitchen so uh where you cook all right kitchen oh look and uh, we also have here a laundry room. Do you understand laundry room? Entienden que es a laundry room? Yes. Cuarto de, 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 de lavar, I think so. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, we, we could say laundry room is where you, you know, do the laundry, where you wash your clothes. Okay. Lavandería, right? So. Uh, yeah, we could say that we don't have a laundry room in our houses here in El Salvador because our houses are small, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We don't have a laundry room. Okay, we could probably say is a lavanderia, but uh, we don't have a, you know, we don't have a, a, a laundry room. In El Salvador, we have a maybe Where some you... house that that has it is main, mansion. Do you say? Mansion? Yeah, a mansion. Yeah, a mansion. mansions. Yeah, some mansions have it, right? And uh, do not confuse this lavanderia with uh, with the regular uh, lavanderia. You know, in in Spanish, right? Because uh, that will be a uh, like right. a laundromat or laundry, 
Laundry. Yeah, laundry. Or some people say laundromat. All right. Donde, digamos, donde usted lleva sus trajes, a que se los laven, yes, right? Laundromat. That's a, a different place. All right. So where were we? Yes, laundry, uh, the laundry room. And look, here we have the stairs. Stairs. Where you go up. Stairs. Okay. Look at this. Stairs. And the Here's a garage. All right, a garage. And uh, we also have a bedroom in the second floor. In the second floor, we have a bedroom, right? A closet where you put your clothes in. Oh, look, here's a hole. Do you understand hole? No, it's where you bus to you. Yes, yes, where you walk. Perfect. Yeah, that's a hole. And here's the bathroom. Look, the bathroom. Hey, there is a bath in here. Okay, some people may say restroom, it, which is okay if you don't have a bath, right? You have a bathtub here. All right, and here are more stairs. All right, so I'm going to. Uh, I'm sorry, I have a question. Could you yes. please repeat the, the pronunciation about? I don't know how. I don't remember. Pasillo, hole. 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 Yeah, hole. Like. Like an O. Yeah, it sounds like O. Hole. Yeah. Mm -hmm. O. Hole. Thanks. Yes. Welcome. And uh, any other question? Oh yes, and look, here's the yard. The, the yard is in the front of the house. Look, here's the entrance, the garage. Garage, here's the garage. And this is the entrance of the house, right? And here we have a yard. But, but uh, we also have a backyard backyard in the back in the parte de atrás there is a there is also some people also have a backyard all right look a yard in the front but here you see a backyard in the back do you understand are you following me do you understand is it, is it clear yes yes Yes, so look. Yes. Oh, okay, that's okay. Look, a yard is like that little garden. Es como aquel jardincito que usted tiene así como enfrente. No todas las casas lo tienen, ¿verdad? Pequeñito. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not necessarily, you know, small. Quizás no siempre sea pequeño. Pero está al frente, ¿ok? Es como un tipo de jardincito, así que con césped y todo que está al frente, ¿verdad? Una media zona verde. Algo así, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Yes. In the front, ¿ok? And in the back, in the back, we have the backyard, ¿ok? Porque está atrás. Backyard, All right? The backyard. All right, so por eso le dicen backyard and yard is in the front. It's it's a very American like. No todas las casas aquí tienen eso, verdad? No, not all of them have this. You know, a front yard and a backyard. We just have the driveway. Ya vamos a aprender más lugares de la casa. So if you want to know more, ask. Okay, si tienen preguntas, digamos de otros lugares, así como que teacher, how do you say Como, how do you say, uh, for example, entrada or whatever, ask, okay? Do you have any questions about places in the house? Like, teacher, how do you say this? Questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? Questions? No? All good? Yes, I have a question. Go ahead, Maurice. Uh, how do you say camarote, for example, camarote? 
Uh, that is, I think it's ladder, if I'm not mistaken. Let me search, okay, because I do not remember. Let's use my dictionary. I know that word. You, you know that word? Yes. Like so I have here a uh, cabin. Yeah, and do you have another? Cabin. Cabin. Mm, wait a minute. I'm, I'm, I'm searching here. Uh, here you can also. Oh, yes, bunk also. Uh, bunk, bunk bed, yeah. I'll, I'll put them here in the uh -huh. Yeah, bunk bed, yeah. Yeah, bunk and also bunk. Okay. Yeah, bunk. Mm -hmm. All right, bed, you know, like bed bunk. bunks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, any other question, please? Yeah. I... I have a, a question. Yes, Mauricio? Uh, it's correct say backyard or backyard? Oh, backyard. The second. Backyard. Uh, la segunda okay. se yo bien, backyard. Mm -hmm. Backyard, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, welcome. Anybody else? Anybody else? No more questions? Okay. So let's continue with uh, uh, with the with the uh, with the uh, with the apartment. In an apartment, uh, you have a you have a lobby, you know, like where people enter. You know where people enter, and uh, you know this is the lobby, lobby. Okay, uh, and uh, here's a. Here's a living room, right? And uh, a dining room, kitchen, a closet, small bathroom, and a bedroom, probably. Uh, you know, an apartment is, mo is uh, usually smaller. And look, you may also have an elevator, an elevator. Right, these are places in an apartment, a lobby, living room, dining room, a kitchen, a closet, and a bedroom. Very good. Hey, there might be other places uh, like in, in the house. For example, uh, in some houses, at least in my house, my house is small, but I have this here. I don't have a, a, you know, I have a garage like this. I, you know, I can put a car in the garage, but uh, when I have uh, visitors, when I have guests in my house, I also, People park in the driveway. People park in the driveway. You understand? Where is the driveway? I'll point at it. It's here. This is the driveway. I'm gonna add it here. Driveway. Driveway is como ese pequeño parqueo que digamos algunas casas no tienen un, o sea, un garage, un garage, pero tienen driveway, o sea, que se puede parquear como afuera, ¿verdad? A eso se llama driveway. Ok, como ese espacio pequeñito, ese tipo de callecita donde usted se puede parquear. So that's a parkway, I mean, a, a driveway. ¿Y la diferencia entre ese parqueo a un parqueo grande? ¿Cuál sería? Ah, como un parqueo grande, así como el que, digamos, el, el de, like in a, in a mall, like in Metro Centro. That's, uh -huh. it, all right, good, good. Like that residential one, 
is a, is a driveway, but in a, in, a, in a mall, you have a parking lot. Parking lot, that, a parking lot. Parking lot is in, uh, is in places like in Metro Centro. Like they, they're big. Yes. All right. Uh, is there any other questions? No. No? No. Okay. Yeah, we're good now. So um, now we are going to do this. Uh, we are going to have like a, a small conversation discussing parts, uh, discussing our house. Okay, we, we're going to talk about our house. Uh, so let's, uh, let me see, just go back here. Just... Uh, All right, let, let's just uh, do this. Let me just, let's have a small conversation like this. We will practice this conversation uh, together. So let me uh, show, uh, show it to you in the screen. Let me share it with you. All right, here we go. Look at this. I'm gonna, can, uh, let's ask Gabby. Gabby, can you help me reading this conversation? The one in the stream. So I think okay. I'm gonna do the Chris lines and you do the Linda's lines. So please uh, go ahead. Teacher. Yes. ¿Qué significa esa palabra que, que, que pronuncia? Go ahead, go ahead. ¿O cómo uh, se go ahead, yeah, go ahead. Uh, it significa como, como que diga adelante. Y es ¿Y ¿Cómo se escribe? Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Son dos palabras. Go ahead. Ajá. Pero cuando uno las dice como, digamos, rápido, o no rápido, sino que... Eh, como de manera fluida se unen las vocales o y o entonces decimos go ahead se ve como que fuera una sola sí así escuchaba yo pero sí sabía que eran dos palabras pero Ajá. no sabía qué significaba ah sí que es como que adelante algo así por ejemplo go cuando ahead. for example when somebody somebody uh, somebody wants to uh, Alguien que le digamos, usted tiene un plato así y, y está sirviendo y you want to share, le quiere compartir, le, le puede decir, go ahead, o sea, para que tomen algo, ¿verdad? O digamos, okay. uh, van usted, va usted en, en un pasillo y como que se choca con otra persona y le da el permiso a ellos, le dicen, go ahead. O sea, como pasa usted, right? Okay, good. Uh, where were we? Yes. Gaby, let's, let's do this. Let's read. Okay. Please. So I guess you're going to do Linda's lines and I'll do uh, Chris's. Okay. New apartment. Uh, that's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room and a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview, wait, wait, on Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Great, great, very good. Does it have a view? View. Do you understand view? Do you understand the word uh, view, guys? You guys understand the word view? Yes, yes, that's what it means. View, okay? 
does it have a view? She asked, does it have a view? Like, is it tiene, tiene, tiene vista? My house has a yeah, nice view, not a, you know, not, not like a super beautiful one, but it, it does have a view, you know, and, and, and it's a nice view. All right, uh, do you have any questions about uh, the vocabulary in here? ¿Alguien tenga preguntas sobre el vocabulario de, de esta conversación? Anybody? No? We good? Okay. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to ask the two questions. Oh, all right. Here, here might be a question. A oh, building. Yes. Building is... Uh, a tall house, right? Or we say edificio, right? Like a complex. It's like a, a building, a complex, edificio, right? So he has a great view of another apartment building. Building, by the way, not fun, Luke. Let me do it. No muy bonita. <laughs> All right. It just she just sees another apartment building. Uh, let's see. Uh, somebody else had another question. All right. All right. Good. Great, Rosio. So uh, look, uh, what we are going to do now is uh, this. Uh, we're going to the, discuss the first questions I asked in the in the class. All right. We're gonna discuss. Uh, we're gonna discuss. First, do you live in a house or in an apartment? And next, how is it like? Or how is your house like? Or in an apartment? How, and then we ask, how is it like? So we discuss these two questions in our group okay we discuss these questions in our group so let me take a picture here and uh, send this picture to you okay it's there so now uh yeah let's make small groups and uh, we discuss the two questions okay and look you have to when somebody tells you like uh you know like the when somebody asks you like how is your how is your house like or what is it like you can ask what is it like it's the same to how is it like what is it like you say oh it's beautiful what else can you say de que otra manera podemos responder it's beautiful, or what else? Then we, we answer with adjectives. Respondemos con adjetivos, con calificativos. ¿Cómo podemos responder? It's, it's beautiful. It's nice. ¿Qué otro adjetivo podríamos utilizar acá? It's great. It's great. Yeah, it's a great house. All right. It's cozy. Cozy, yeah, cozy. Cozy is like, you know, like beautiful, like very, it's similar to comfortable. All right, cozy. It's, it's very- It's clean. Say again. It's clean. Clean, yeah, good. It's clean, yes. Your house, your, your house can be clean too. What else? What else can you see? Can you say? Well, you can, you know, you can just ask. I mean, you can just say big or small or safe, you know, safe if, you're, if your house is uh, safe as well, you know, como segura, right? It's very safe, right? Hey, what about this? Your house can also be old or it can be new as well, right? How is it like? Now, vamos a quitar esto, because it, it's not fine. 
How, what is it like? Vamos a preguntar, what is it like? Right, those, that will be the two questions. What is it like? What is it like? Okay, what is it like? All right, so we are going to describe our houses. All right, remember to give more details, more information, not like, not, not only it's, you know, it's small, it's new, it's big or whatever, more information like, oh, in the conversation, you know, como la de la conversación, right? I'm gonna share again so you can see. Vamos a verlo de nuevo. Yeah, so I, I can say something like this. So we can say something like this. Uh, you know, you know, it's it's beautiful, and uh, it has it has. Se acuerdan del del irregular de de los verbos irregulares, right? It has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, kitchen, and so on. So yeah, you can you can uh, add more information, right? Like for example, my house is small, but it has a backyard, and it has a yard. It has a a living room, a small dining room, and a small bathroom. And it has a, and it has a backyard. My house also has a has a has a nice view. Okay, so add more information. Okay, add more information. You can ask these same questions. I'm gonna take a picture of this conversation and uh, focus on the questions. All right, so we can have a nice, a nice conversation. So this is gonna be in your chat. And uh, yes, we discuss this. All right, look at the questions like, what is it like? Is it big? Where is it? Yeah, you can also ask, where is it? It's in uh, San Miguel, it's in uh, Merliot. Or is it? It is in such place. Okay. Um, now what we're gonna do is uh, is uh, working in small groups. Okay. Where is it? Do you have uh, any other question? All right. No. No questions. All right. Great. All right. Good. So let's work in groups. What, what what is what what is is it like? Is a. Era la descripción que que nos decía él. Um, and my house has um a kitchen, um living room. Um, three bedroom, one backyard has a garage, okay. uh, um, one uh, dining room, 
and four closets, mm -hmm. uh, one hall, only. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Rocio, do mm -hmm. you like in a house or an apartment? Do you I live, you say. Live. I live. live. I live Excuse in my house. Okay. How is your house like? Uh, my, my house is small, but to but have two floors. And have three bedrooms and two bathrooms and a kitchen and a living room and a garage. In in the second and the second floor. 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 In the second floor, floor? Oh, it's only uh, three bedrooms. Okay. Uh, in a in a one bathroom. <laughs> okay. Luis. Hello. Hello. Do you like? Siguiente. How is your? This is like. How is your house like? Is another. ¿Qué quiere decir esa? How is your. Uh, yes, that means. Uh, that means. ¿Cómo es su casa? So how's your house like? Or what? What is it like? Significa ah. cómo es su casa. Si es chiquita, es bonita, ah. es cómoda, es, eh, es vieja. Yeah. So it, old, new, comfortable, big, small. Yeah, yeah. My house is uh, small and clean. I don't know. I think it's safe and all. Good. Now tell tell more. Yeah, tell us more. What rooms are there in your house? Ah. It has, there you are, right? It has. Yeah, it has, tiene un, it has a... Yeah. It has three rooms. Kitchen, living room. So it has a bedroom, it has a, a you can say a garage or whatever, or it doesn't have a garage. Yes, yeah, so. Okay. Okay. Okay, my house is one floor. It has um, one floor, yeah. Uh -huh, one floor. And a yard. Uh, the, the first floor. Um, has a living room, a kitchen, a laundry. A laundry, okay. A laundry, do you have laundry? Um, no, no. no. All right, fine. I don't know, no, no. no. Uh, yeah. Pero para decir si tiene. It has, it has. Uh, it has. It has garage. Uh, a garage. Uh, okay. Yeah. Garage. That's good. That's good. Pretty good, guys. Keep it up. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'll check on the other group. Okay. Okay. You guys. Um. Hi. Hi. Hold, Eva. I see you. Hold. Yes. Hold. Hold. Hi. Good, good, pretty good. Guys. Does does the does the does the apartment have a hall? Sí. Eh, no le entendí, Verónica. Sí, que, si que, tiene que, su que... apartamento tiene pasillo. 
that ah, okay. does the apartment have a hole? Eh, not, no, 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 ah, porque es un objeto, ¿verdad? Ajá, exacto, estamos hablando de, de algo, entonces decimos no, it doesn't. Ajá. Y, Ajá. yes, it does. Ajá, yes, it does. Y no, no, it doesn't. No, it, no, it, no, it doesn't. Great, that's, that's, that's really good, okay. guys. Okay. Very good. All right, I'll go check on the other group. You continue talking. Javi and Victor, okay. Yes, well, interesting. Mm -hmm. So, hey, you continue sure. talking. You continue talking. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Estábamos discutiendo, teacher, referente a la, a la pregunta, how is your... How is it your house like? How's your house like? Yeah. Okay. Ajá. Eso sí. Ajá. La intentamos traducir así y no y, y daba una traducción, una interpretación no, algo. Claro. No, pero esa, pero esa imagen que estaba aquí. Ajá. Ajá. How is it? Ajá. Ese it como que se 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 me fue en el en el typing. Pero ahí se lo puse. Ajá. How pueden decir how is it like or how is your house like? Or what is it like? Todo significa lo mismo. El it no va ahí. Ajá, ¿verdad? Ese it no va ahí. Después, más, más abajo, creo que se los corregí. Porque, mm. porque sí, había sí, el, mensaje, que el mensaje de abajo está... Eh, Corregido. Ajá, ah. sí. Uh -huh. Abajo se los corregí porque sí, se, se fue ese, ese typo. So, oh, yeah. Okay. That's it. Bueno, entonces practiquemos. Yeah, you just keep talking. Yo creo que ya vamos a ir regresando a la sesión. We return to the main session. Aquí hay que tener bastante vocabulario de adjetivos para describir la casa, ¿verdad? Mm, yeah, probably, but not much. Eh, puede comenzar con lo básico, o sea, con big, small, new, old. Los que pusimos, los que discutimos. Clean, son, safe, old, clean, new. safe, uh, comfortable, comfortable, como cómoda. Cozy, como acogedora. Cozy. Uh, cozy. Yeah. Ahí saben, ahí se los puse en, en el chat también. Hot or cold. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, uh, you, you can say hot, say. also, como caliente, bien caliente, ¿verdad? Hot yeah. or cold. I mean, not cold, probably, but cool. Yeah, so you, you can say that too. All right. Great. Very good, guys. I'll go back to the, let, let's go back to the main session. Okay. Hi. <laughs> All right. Great, great, great. Welcome, everybody. Uh, so, yeah, now we will do this. Uh, we'll take turns uh, discussing, you know, uh, or sharing our description. Okay? Vamos a tomar los turnos para describir nuestra para compartir nuestra descripción o describir nuestra casa. So, uh, yes, uh, let's ask uh, Joseph. I don't remember your first name. I just, yes. yeah, so uh, start, go ahead. Uh, my house is a, it's a big house. Okay, great. It's color white. Great. In my house, there, there are a furniture. Yeah, there's furniture. Um, Good. There is um, a sofa too. Yes. Um, there are a picture. There are pictures. <laughs> Just that? Okay, great. And uh, does he have a, a view? A nice view? Mm, no, I don't have a view. It doesn't. It doesn't have a view. Uh, Remember? It yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. it doesn't. Good, good. Uh, furniture. 
furniture is uh is like furniture is your sofa uh small table you know uh, uh you know in the you know, those uh, those like a desk and a table all of that is furniture okay sofa couches and so on okay those things are are uh, furniture dining table though that's furniture okay como el equipo las cositas de la casa los muebles those things yes any other uh oh yeah let's have somebody else hey let's see this uh joseph you select somebody else okay um ricardo vega Okay, so let's let's uh, hear Ricardo. So Ricardo, uh, do you live in a house or in an apartment? I live in a house. You live in a house, and uh, is it a small or a big house? My house is a small house. Your, all right, good. Your house is small size. And uh, what is it like? Uh, my house. Is a uh, color blue. Is blue. Uh -huh. Is comfortable. 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 Oh. Everybody. Comfortable. Yeah, comfortable. <laughs> okay. That's, Sorry. That's okay. That's okay. We're okay. learning. Uh -huh. It has a um, bedroom. Yeah. Bathroom, kitchen, and living room. Living room. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yes. All right. Good, good. That was that was good, man. All right. Now uh, let's hear uh, Ricardo. Bathroom. Bathroom is a baño. Yes. In the but bathroom. it it's in bathroom. It's usually in the house. In a, in a house, it's a bathroom. Uh, gente que dice y por qué le dicen bathroom si no tiene una bathtub. It, that why do you call it bathroom if it doesn't have a bath? O sea, porque hay gente, eh, por ejemplo, en, los, en Metro Centro, it's not a bathroom, it's a restroom. Okay? Porque no tiene un, una bathtub, o sea, una bañera. So, in, in places like those, it's a restroom. But in your house, como en su casa, o sea, tienen, o sea, tienen, ya tienen el toilet, el sink, todo eso, o sea, ahí tienen un bathroom. Porque y, y tiene el conjunto. Ajá, digamos, donde, donde también usted se puede bañar. Pero digamos en, en, en digamos en el en el colegio o probably at work, it's not a bathroom. There it, it's a restroom because it doesn't have a bathroom. Restroom. Ajá. Restroom. Ya le voy a poner aquí. Y también le voy a poner la, la pronunciación de, de comfortable por, por así. Restroom. De como cómoda, ¿verdad? Confortable. Eh, but it's comfortable. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it here. So let's voy a poner aquí. Okay. Vamos a buscar aquí in, in the internet. Uh, so yeah, that's it, guys. And and uh, so it's a restroom is in a is is the one that doesn't have a bathtub que no tiene bañera. The bathroom is donde usted tiene todo, ¿verdad? Y puede ir al baño, lavarse la cara, y puede también, you can take a shower or a bath, okay? That's the difference between bathroom and restroom. Quizás voy a buscar una imagen para el, de, sobre eso para que lo tengan ahí, solo por cultura. Oh, we said comfortable, right? And, he, and uh, yes, uh, Ricardo, you have somebody else, please. Have somebody else uh, describing their their house. So you select another person, please. Okay. Mauricio Alarcón. Yeah. All right. Good. Yo le pregunto. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, go ahead, ask him, you know, do you live in a house or in an apartment? What's your house like? So, yes. Uh, do you live in, in a house or in an apartment? I live in a house. 
Cozy. It's, it's cozy. cozy. Hey, that's it's pretty cozy. good. That's pretty good. Thanks, Mauricio. I know you're you're trying hard, but it was a really good job. Dice que le que está dando ahí, se está forzando bastante, pero sonó super bien. Very good. Uh, so, Mauricio, Mauricio, you select somebody else, please. Uh, Victor. Victor Peña. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. So, uh, just go ahead and describe your house, uh, Victor. He doesn't have to ask the questions. Okay. My house is a small one. Um, has three rooms. I don't know. Bed, uh, bedrooms. Bedrooms, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I don't know if I can call this, it's a place where it is located the washer machine. Oh, that's a laundry room? Uh, maybe a little, little one. Very, very little. But you have it. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, living room has a living room and kitchen and one bathroom okay that's it good good that's great uh all right uh, i think we're gonna have just a couple of people more so uh victor select somebody else please somebody ha who hasn't spoken rocio Rocio, okay. all right, go ahead, please. Tell us, uh, I, what's your house like? Uh, my house is uh, has two floors and has three bedrooms, a kitchen, uh, two bedrooms, a yard. So. And, and that's all. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Great. Very good. Now, Rocio, I want you to select one more person, please. Okay. Um, Karen Flores. All right. Karen, go ahead, please. Karen, are you there? Nah, I think she's not there. Uh, let's ask. Uh, let's ask uh, Sylvia. Sylvia, can you tell us how's your what's your house like? Okay. Uh, I live in, in an apartment. My okay. apartment is a small. My apartment is a small. Have two bedrooms. Yes. Uh, one bathroom, kitchen, living room, driving room, sofa, two TV, and air condition only. Oh, good, but you have air conditioning. That's great. That, that must be a beautiful house. Pretty good. <laughs> great. Uh, you guys, uh, I think uh, time is over. Time is almost over. So... Uh, do you have any questions uh, about vocabulary or anything else you want to add or, or know today? Is there anything that you want to add or teacher? I don't remember how to pronounce this word or how to say this thing. It's time. Let's, let's do it. Yes? Um, Rocio, yes. Uh, Rocio, you have to use the phone. Okay. Okay. For example, my, my house has has a living room. When do we use the A, the one or two numbers? Ah, okay, okay, muy bien. Ah, uh, ahora. Eh, eh, así como a, sí. a grosso modo, 
decimos, eh, decimos, uh, decimos, utilizamos a o an para re referirnos como algo en eh, general. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, it has a living room. O sea, tiene una. Utilizamos one cuando ya estamos, digamos, contando. No estamos como solo mencionando. ¿Me entiendes? Esa es la, como la, la diferencia entre a o one. Sí, me escucha. Oh. Can you Teacher, hear me? I want, I want to just, can you hear me too? Yes. Okay, I want to destroy my house to finish. Okay, go ahead. Okay, in my house I have four rooms. One living room, one kitchen, one bathroom, and one hall. My room is, is next to the living room, and in my room, I have a big window. Great. That's, that's good, Rodrigo. Very good. Well done. Yes. Hey, like it, guys. Thanks so much. Did I answer your question, uh, Javier? ¿Le respondí su pregunta, Javier? Sí, sí. Sí. Cuando okay. estamos refiriéndonos así como, como generalizando, utilizamos el A. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y cuando estamos contando o hay más de un objeto, quizás se utiliza el Los números. Ajá, uh -huh, exacto. El artículo A o AN, o sea, A, cuando el siguiente, la siguiente, ¿cómo se llama? El siguiente sonido es un consonante, como a view o a room. Y an, cuando el siguiente sonido es vocal. Por ejemplo, uh, an ear o an umbrella. El siguiente sonido ahí es vocal. ¿Ok? Y lo, lo mismo significan. Ajá, sí, eso significan lo mismo. Pero como el siguiente, de, depende del siguiente sonido, ¿verdad? Que, que vaya con a o an. Pero todo lo demás está bien. Bien. Yeah. Ok. Yes. yes. So, uh, and here's the, the, the pronunciation of comfortable. Se puede pronunciar así. La primera es comfortable. Comfortable. Si ven en el chat, hay esos símbolos medio raros que están ahí. Es la pronunciación. Comfortable. Okay, we say comfortable. O se puede decir comfortable. Comfortable, que es la segunda opción. Comfortable or comfortable. Y eso significa como cómodo, confortable. Okay. All right, so I think this is it, guys. I, I will see you tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we'll continue talking about our homes, okay? And asking questions about it, all right? Good, so thank I thank you for joining and I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great night. Thank you. Okay, goodbye, teacher. Thank you. Goodbye. All right, see you good night. Later. Good night. Bye. See you, See you tomorrow. Bye. God bless.